Hello AML team. We know that the UAE AML regulations provide for adopting a risk-based approach to determine the mitigation measures to be applied while dealing with customers. This applies to dealers in precious metals and stones, which are highly vulnerable to money laundering, given the nature of the products. Small in volume. Easy portability. Global acceptability. Less prone to value fluctuation, etc. Resorting to a risk-based approach, the precious metals and stones dealers must apply enhanced due diligence measures when engaging with high-risk customers. In this video, we shall discuss enhanced due diligence, under what circumstances the EDD process will be applied, and the measures to be adopted when conducting EDD. Enhanced due diligence is one of the essential concepts of the AML framework, aiming to manage the high risk of money laundering or terrorism financing. EDD is a level-up customer due diligence, which goes beyond basic identification of the customer. While implementing the EDD process, the DPMS must cover the application of specific additional measures and identity verification checks to manage the increased risk of financial crime a customer poses. By performing EDD, the jewelers can better understand the customer's profile and identify potential MLFT vulnerabilities. The DPMS must conduct enhanced due diligence when the customer or the transaction is identified as posing higher financial crime risks. Such situations may include 1. When the business relationship is with a person identified as exposing higher risk, such as a politically exposed person. 2. When the customer is associated with a high-risk country or a jurisdiction having weak or minimal AMLCFT regulations. This includes the list of countries subject to FATF's call for action or notified under FATF's list of jurisdictions subject to increased monitoring. 3. When DPMS doubts the correctness or veracity of the customer information obtained earlier. 4. Transaction with a customer closely connected with a country known for aiding terrorist organizations or funding terrorist activities. When any MLFT risk indicator or red flag is observed while establishing a business relationship or executing a transaction. To ensure the effectiveness of the EDD process and comply with the UAE AML regulations, the dealer in precious metals and stones must perform the following measures. Rigorous identity verification measures should be adopted and verifying them against independent databases. Further, the declared address must also be verified. The dealer in precious metals may consider getting certified copies of identity and address proof documents. An additional inquiry must be made around the customer's intended purpose of the business relationship and the nature of the transaction. Further, the DPMS must determine the customer's financial position, given the value of the products and overall transactions. For this, the company must seek information about the customer's source of funds and wealth, and check whether the value of precious metals or stones to be purchased and the customer's finances are aligned. Documents such as the customer's bank statement, audited financial statement or balance sheet, tax return, pay slips or employment contract, etc., may be obtained to determine the legitimacy of the declared source of funds and wealth. The entities must make additional efforts to verify the customer's background, such as by looking for adverse media, or negative news about the person. Here, reliance can be placed upon the private databases or government sources available in the public domain, or by accessing the paid subscription tools. Given the increased financial crime risk involved in the business relationship, the jewelers must seek approval from the senior management before onboarding such high-risk customers. Further, management approval must also be sought prior to executing a high-risk transaction. When engaging with high-risk customers, the first payment towards the precious metals provided must be through the customer's bank account with a bank having similar CDD measures. This condition restricts the MLTF risk associated with a high-risk transaction. Once high-risk customers are onboarded, the customer profile and the transactions pertaining to high-risk business relationships must be continuously monitored. This will help the entity to detect any suspicious activities or unusual transactions, indicating the involvement of financial crime risks. Now we understand that the EDD measures are highly significant in managing the increased exposure to financial crimes posed by certain classes of customers. 
Trust that this video helps you effectively implement the EDD checks.